my gosh! <gasps> oh my gosh, that gave me like the heebie jeebies. Stop pulling my leg, I carumba, and just say no to. I want to play a game. Today we're back at it, breaking down and reacting to all these shocking medical scenes and chilling injuries from Saw 10. Let's dive right in. Help! Hey, help! Help! Please. Oh, what is this contraption? Those look like really bad optometry lenses when you go to see the eye doctor and you do the, is it better now? Is it better now? That's like a scary version of that. All you have to do is click the dial across the five positions. All right, and we got to live to see another day. You have 60 seconds. I don't know exactly what's on his fingers. They actually almost look like these things called finger traps that we use in the emergency department that actually go over top your fingers and hold your hand in place that we use if somebody has like a fracture. Hey, 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 hey. Oh! Hyper extends the finger, probably fractures it and dislocates it. Just do it all super fast. <gasps> Suction? Did they just suck his eyeball out? The amount of force that that takes that is able to tear the six muscles and the optic nerve and the blood vessels all out all at the same time. I'm not sure how it actually happens. <gasps> what? Oh my gosh. What? 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 Holy cow. I was not ready for that. Oh my goodness. Horrible. Awful. Have I actually seen somebody's eyeball totally out? Actually, no. I've seen a lot of traumatic injuries to the eyeball itself where there's lacerations, there's blood coming out, but not being suctioned to get out of there. Attached to your arms are two explosive devices. Whoa. The blades cannot cut through the galvanized cable, but they can slice through flesh and muscle. Having to actually cut yourself with these, the first incision will hurt for about a second, and then after a few cuts, it won't be as bad. Considerably. <laughs> hard to see exactly how deep having to cut into the tissue, but it's into the forearms, right? You're cutting through soft tissue, you're cutting through the nerves. You can hit major blood vessels. They're deep inside. They typically will run kind of closer to the bones so they're protected. Okay, he conquered this. Could he bleed out? If a major artery in the forearm is lacerated and you don't get control of the bleeding by compressing it, holding pressure to it, could you bleed out a lot? Yes, but would it make you die? It's hard to know. Your blood pressure will eventually slow down. So the amount that it's forcefully coming out will actually start to slow. <laughs> Concerned the injury there would be perforated eardrums, tinnitus ringing in the ears, almost like uh, concussive type forces, as well as potentially hemothorax or pneumothorax relating to injuries to the chest itself. There are more than five pounds of marrow in the human body. All you need is three ounces. Talking about bone marrow, where your precursor cells for all your blood cells are within the meshwork within the bones. There's more than enough in your femur. You just suction it out. It'll be transferred to that device right there. We'll do bone marrow biopsies in your hip. And a lot of times we'll use bone marrow to help somebody who needs a bone marrow transplant when their cells are potentially cancerous and they're not functioning the way that they should. How do I Wrap it on your leg. Oh, so she has to amputate off her own leg using a bone cutting saw, which I've actually used. You just want to do it fast and quick and with a lot of force. Woo! There you go. Oh my gosh, she was able to cut her own leg off. So now the issue is your femoral artery is bleeding, your veins of the leg are bleeding. You potentially can bleed out pretty fast, so you need to get moving. You're running out of time. So this looks like one of those suction devices at the dental office. Sorry, yeah, dentist out there. We have similar suction devices. Our suction devices are plastic, so we can be thrown out.
That's messed up, come on. Come on! When your head is removed from the rest of your body and no more connection, the question ends up being is how long is the head still conscious? And there's no way to specifically tell this. They've thought it back in the day where there was some eye movement and maybe there was some awareness. Unlikely. Less than three minutes, the enzymes- Three minutes to cut off your own to skull? A circuit. This will save your life. So you gotta make sure you don't cut the wrong piece of brain out that has to do with motor function. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, that gave me like the heebie-jeebies. That drill bit is only about an inch long, maybe a little less. Might not hit the brain tissue, but you're gonna cause brain bleeding, you're gonna cause pain because of the meninges, which is the covering of the brain. But once you get through that, the brain itself is actually insensate. Does not have pain receptors. So it is kind of soft, kind of gelatinous, weird feeling. Yes, I felt someone's brain before because I deal with traumas. So it could look like that and have that same kind of texture. Hello, Gabriella. I want to play a game. No, no, stop it. Just watching these clips gives me like stress. If you guys are in situations where you're more stressed than you wanna be, definitely check out a product that I've helped put together called Chillax. It's mood stabilizing and helps with healthy stress management. Radiation machines are not to be trifled with. Radiation exposure, cellular breakdown. So we use radiation therapy in medicine to help target tumors, cancer cells, to shrink them down, to try to basically kill the cells themselves. <laughs> Gotta try to like break the bone out. Look at the skin, flesh melting. It's like a hammer. Awful. That's awful. Obviously, in this situation, she's just happy to be alive. You need to get to the hospital. The priority is getting the joint back into place because it significantly reduces the risk of long-term arthritis to that joint the faster you can get the joint back in. Out of these five, I think the hardest, maybe for me, would be the brain one, where you're actually cutting your skull, then taking a piece of brain out. That was pretty hard. Then right after that would be the femur, where you're cutting off your own leg. Also, big new things on the horizon. Check out my brand new supplement company, Life Happens. Definitely check out this playlist right here. Check out all the saw videos that we've done so far. If you guys want me to do more, let me know in the comments. And as always, make sure you subscribe, turn your bell notifications on, and hit that like button for me. Thank you so much for watching, and stay healthy, my friends.